Tonight's live game, unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away. But I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through and it takes a lot of pressure off your defence of course, forces longer passes through the aerial route so all things considered that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective So it's down to business here. Forward it goes. And that's been levered clear. forward quickly it's a long pass but not the most accurate hoists it forward and that's the end of that it all started well enough And it's played forward. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them because it needs livening up tries to dink it in it's anyone's ball it's gone a long way up and away made sure that that won't get through drives it towards the front hoists it forward Oh, that's neat. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. It's being played forward. There is the half-time whistle. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
some first half goals. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we're off again. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Chance to cross here. Up towards the front line. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. It could be in here. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Very few chances to talk off, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil, and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. And that has been clubbed away. Beautifully done. A chance to play it in. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Goes long. And he's there to clear it. With some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Towering header! And another time! Oh, it's in! And that's got to be it! That has got to be it! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Another change here. Deadlock broken, it's 1 0. And the referee brings it to a close. So it ends 1 0, an enthralling game and an agonizingly narrow defeat. So, what do you take away from it all, Jim? It's a poor result. They offer very little goal threat and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly. At the business end, they just can't close a deal. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.